Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, so, your laser. Oh, my laser's on. <laughs> Sorry. Jody was telling me I was shooting someone with my laser. Uh, anyway, Katie O'Neill here at Trans West Truck Trail RV calling from or coming in from Frederick, Colorado. Um, so today is really exciting for me because I do a ton of Super C videos, but I've got a really nice uh, Super C today for you. And it's different than anything I've done uh, recently. This is a DX3 by Dynamax. So as usual, you can find us at TTTRV on YouTube or at RVs Inside Out on YouTube, or you can go ahead and just tune into us live five days a week, three times a day, with a truck, a trailer, and an RV video, Monday through Friday. Uh, today's video is live on Facebook, so if you've got any questions, please go ahead, you know, let us know in the comments down below. We'll make sure to ask those questions during the video. And as usual, Jody, I love to start our videos from the inside out, so go ahead and take her on back while I turn off the laser on my, uh, my measuring tape. <laughs> so this doubles as a cat, uh, cat toy, you know? <laughs> measuring tape and cat toy. Uh, anyhow, the reason I have my measuring tape out today is I thought it would be kind of nice to walk through uh, some of the dimensions in this RV. Uh, so this is a really cool floor plan. This is a bath and a half model uh, by Forest River or Dynamax. It is a DX3 and this is the 37 RB. Really, really nice floor plan, a lot of great amenities. And the best thing about this model is it's got that power, it's got that towing capacity, but it's also got that price point. It's a really nice price point and a really great layout. So take a look first at this dual vanity. I think it's so nice. Um, as you can see, I love that glowy light that they have around all of their countertops. Um, this is a very similar type of Corian as to what I have in my Superstar. Um, also much like our Renegade, uh, we have these nice undermount sinks with a seamless seam. So there's no, uh, you know, easy to clean, no buildup here really nice faucets as well and then a ton of medicine uh, cabinet space here so as you can see you've got two gigantic windows lots and lots of medic medicine space, uh, medicine cabinet space and i'll just measure these for you just to give you an idea so just one opening here is 19 inches so you know 40 inches of medicine cabinet not to mention the fact that you've got another small cabinet over here which is not separate it's actually connected so Lots and lots of room for anyone who might want to go out for a longer trip or live full time in their coach. Um, I also like this. This is very much like that of the Renegade where you've got the storage above the toilet. Um, we also have our nice porcelain toilet here and then a 35 inch radius corner shower along with the ability to lock up those pesky kids when they are being naughty. Um, and as we all know, I love this magnetic seal, the little soap dish there on the uh, adjustable shower head and also the seat so that you can go ahead and sit down and shave your legs. Now another nice feature in this coach that I think is worth mentioning is that here you have a ton of storage. I mean you could keep all of your linens, all of your towels, um, and you have a full-length mirror. So this is just a really really nice setup in this coach. Um, now I'll tell you from a cabinetry standpoint uh, these are not as nice as the Renegade, but they certainly would do the trick. Uh, the finish here is um, a little light uh, to the touch, but to be honest with you, it's still really sturdy and durable. I can see why there might be a little bit of a savings in the price point, but I can also see why this could be a great fit for somebody who's looking for that 20,000 pound towing capacity, uh, which this coach does boast of. Um, a nice feature here, you'll have cedar lining in the back of your uh, wardrobe closet. It's also carpet lined, so you're not gonna get those rattles. We all know that I'm a big fan of that. Um, and then another nice feature of this coach, take a look at these drawers. Really nice full extension drawers. Um, and the cool thing about these is they are soft clothes. Um, and there's also lots of different sizes. So, you know, I'm a big fan of being able to have different sizes in your cabin so that you can actually keep different things in them. So you've got some smaller ones, and then you've got some big ones. And then of course you've got your 42 inch insignia television here. We'll find that in also like the Renegade's Valencia model has the same type. But one thing that we boast here that we don't have in our Renegade is these great little pop-up uh, ports where they have the USB ports and charging apparatus right there on your nightstand. And that of course is gonna be good because you can get that camera off the, um, off the countertop so you can charge well. And some GFI grounded 
uh, outlets here. Another nice feature about this coach, I like the way that all of your lights uh, glow here so you can actually see at night which button you're turning on and off. I think that that's handy as well. I like the windows. Um, I put the pillows down just so you could see uh, the window opens. Uh, it's screened, it has an MCD power shade and uh, there's cross ventilation as well. So you can really get that nice fresh air while you're out camping. Uh, this bed is gonna be a 78 inch strong bed. I think it's supposed to be 80, but I mean, when I measure it, it's kind of a 78. So this is probably what we would classify as an RV King. Um, it just says King bed on the literature that I read and then 72 inches across. So 72 by 80 is what I would guess. If you're looking for RV King sheets, that should be ample for you. And then up here, look at all this great storage. And this is also carpet lined. So um, a really nice uh, example of another way to get into the Super C market. You know, you've got these players like Renegade and Numar, but if that price point's a little bit out of range, this is a really affordable product. And this is a great bath and a half unit. Um, so here we've got some nice separation of space as well. This is a pretty sturdy door, just so you know, when I opened it, I was like, that's got some heft to it. Um, I know that I'm your eyes and your ears as you go through this cap, this coach. So I try to be really, you know, good about uh, just observations and good feedback. Um, I love this extra space here. So you have your, uh, you know, your washer and dryer are stackable, but instead of having them on top of each other, I love what Dynamax has done here. They've actually put them as a side-by-side -side component. So it's not an all-in-one, but in doing so, you have all of this extra hanging space. And I also think it's really nice that you have these uh, Mylar uh, foam uh, insulated uh, shades for your for your coach. Um, we oftentimes will buy those through Freightliner since this is built on a Freightliner chassis. Um, now in terms of comparative specs, 100 gallon fuel tank, which is the same as what you'll find on a Renegade uh, or on a Numar Superstar. Difference being in this model, uh, you have a DD8 instead of a uh, ISL or that 8.9 liter Cummins. This is a 7.7 .7 liter DD8. A very similar uh, output, so 375 horsepower instead of 360, and then it has 1,050 foot-pounds of torque instead of 1,150, but really similar outputs for those of you that are looking for heavy tow. And again, that is that 20,000 pound towing capacity. Um, I love this mid-bath. Once again, these glowy lights are super, super cute. Um, I think that they're just really adorable. Um, it adds a really nice level of class and sophistication to the inside of the coach. Um, and your uh, freshwater and graywater tank capacity are a little bit different on this RV. Uh, so on this RV, you're going to find that you have a 52 gallon gray water and a 52 gallon black water capacity and 100 gallons of fresh water. So just a little bit less than those other two uh, manufacturers, but still really ample, much more than the, that is what you would find on a typical C as opposed to the Super C. Joe, did you get a hold of that one? We're going to go ahead and go up here. And this is, like I said, so much storage space throughout this coach. Uh, the windows open once again, nice porcelain toilet here. You also have this spray nozzle to spray out the inside of the loo. Um, I've not had that on any of my RVs, but I know we have them on the Navion. So if that's important to you, that's there too. Um, <laughs> I guess they all know that this is an office because we've got USB ports here. So while you're doing your work for the day, you plug in and keep your phone charged, keep your laptop going, um, <laughs> your iPad. These little drawers are so, I, I mean, I opened them up and I was like, oh, that is so cute. They're so cute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they funny? They're just like little little drawers, but I mean, they get the job done, right? Uh, so super nice. Uh, you also have your uh, fantastic fans up here. So you've got, you know, fans in the bathroom, um, fans in the kitchen area. You've got your uh, two uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioners and heat pumps. Um, there goes my cat toy. Just dropped the, uh, the laser pointer. Uh, but that's okay because we're going to go over here to the pantry. Let's just take a look here at the pantry space. So lots of good room in the pantry. Really nice pull-out drawers. Uh, these don't go quite all the way to the back, which I think is kind of funny. I don't understand exactly why they stop short, but they're still plenty deep, and I will measure those for you as well. So it seems like there's a bit of space back there. I guess you could, like, I don't know, keep your gun back there or something. Uh, these look to be just about 19 inches 
interior depth. Um, so about 20 inches long. And then in terms of overall width, you've got about eight inches across in terms of your diameter right there. So seven and three quarters inches if you're measuring for uh, any kind of uh, compartment or any ty type of uh, storage boxes. And then overall height, about 12 inches there. So uh, the overall length of this here is actually a bit larger, which is why I wanted to make sure I measured it because it is different in terms of that, that length. This is actually a 28 inch deep cabinet. So not using all of that space in the back, but still really nice, lots of storage there. Uh, you've got four drawers, which is, you know, plenty of pantry space. And then um, up here, so this is a refrigerator very similar to that as what we would find in our Valencia product. So residential, very basic uh, layout. As you can see, lots and lots of room. I like the fact that the slide and reach pantry is at the top. Um, but nice deep uh, drawer or uh, door drawers here. And then also one of my favorite things about our Renegade product is first and foremost, we have these great locks. And so you can really tell when things are closed. And then also there's no handle. So you're not going to get bruises on your shoulder or on your arm when you're walking by or your hip. Um, I thought these were kind of fun. So as you can see, all of our RV manufacturers are always trying to maximize our cabinet space, but that's some great storage right there uh, for anything tall. And I mean, you could really keep like olive oil or syrup. I mean, I don't know, whatever you need to keep in those cabinets, hot sauce, Frank's hot sauce, right? Um, nice booth dinette. that has got two forward facing seat belts here. Um, one of my favorite things to have is cup holders in your table. Of course, while the kids are in motion, if they're playing a game of solitaire, you know, and their soda goes flying off the, the countertop. We all know that we'll tell them to clean it up, but we know who ends up cleaning it up. So nice to have that uh, preventative measure there. Um, and then I also think that, you know, from a lighting uh, standpoint, everything is very tasteful, nothing gaudy, uh, but really pretty on the interior, well lit. You've got MCD shades. These are manually operated day and night shades uh, throughout the coach. Uh, the, the depth of this dinette is also really nice. There's no cushion here against this back wall, but because of that, this is just about 42 inches deep. So plenty of room for somebody uh, or for four people to sit and have a meal, which is really nice. And of course that does convert into a sleeping accommodation. Um, another similarity to that of our Renegade or our Numar products, we have this true induction cooktop. Um, like Renegade, it's not removable but it is the same product that they use in both the Superstar and in the uh, Verona. So this true induction, one of the benefits of this is if you're out there in the world camping and you're looking um, to maybe make a French press, which is what we use most of the time during the day, the boiling time on this is really short. Uh, the other thing that's nice about the true induction is you can really set a specific temperature. So if you know that your fried egg comes out really well at three, you can set it to number three and that pan will go right to that temperature regardless of altitude. So having that magnetic cooking ability as opposed to having a gas is going to definitely give you a benefit um, in terms of uh, accuracy with your cooking temperatures, which is awesome. So I'm, I'm really into my cooking stuff. I have these great all clad pans, but I'll tell you one of the nice things about it is I can take my all clad copper core pan and put a paper towel down on this burner and boil water and it will not catch on fire. And we actually have at our house, we have little silicone mats that we use that conduct that magnetic, that magnetic uh, conductivity into the pan. And I can put those down on my cooktop and I can keep it from getting dirty. So really, really nice feature that you have something that's not only efficient in the way that it cooks, but also that's going to be a fire preventative measure, especially since this would be such a great time or a great place to spend time with your family. Um, so up here, we've got our GE convection and microwave oven. Uh, in the Renegade product, we would find this would be a true point. So this is a little bit of an upgrade, I think. Kind of a nice feature there. And then all of the storage up top. And like I said, these cabinets, um, they're not bad. They're, they're really nice. They're definitely solid wood and better than that of a lot of manufacturers. So, so for those of you that are out there in the Super C market and you're looking for a really nice, affordable product, um, you should definitely give me a call. This is a really great uh, Super C. And if you want to write down the uh, stock number so that you can reference it later, uh, the stock number is 5U230055. So again, 5U230055. 
This RV is available. Um, it's kind of funny. So why do you have an RV with 3,000 miles on it? Well, <laughs> my clients had had a really nice a uh, 45 foot bus that they bought in 2009. And, you know, they're getting a little older and they thought they would just downsize and get something, you know, like a Super C where, you know, the wife might want to drive it a little more often. And yeah, so they traded that in for an Essex. Yeah, like a brand new Newmar Essex. Quite a different product. But, you know, it's good to try to save money, but sometimes you shouldn't put your wife in a Dynamax when she wants a Newmar Essex because you'll probably end up getting her a Newmar Essex. So, hey, you two. Uh, thanks. I hope you had a great trip back to Texas. Uh, always fun to see you. And thanks for the nice trade in. Um, so you'll see here, uh, much like our Renegade Verona's, we have a lot of our components here. Very well organized. Um, our switchboard is well labeled and easy to read. Um, this has a 400D aqua hot unit for its hydronic heat. I don't know what that's for, but I don't think it belongs in the coach. Um, cute though. Oh, there's all the remotes. Um, so the 400D is a really nice hydronic heating system. Uh, so the Aquahot 250D is what will run in the Verona. Uh, so that's just going to have a little bit larger reservoir. Um, so when you have your boiler heating up your hydronic fluid, it's just a little bit bigger than the 400D. So very robust heating system. Uh, this is an all electric coach. Um, oh, and take a look at that. So I love all of this storage here. I might want that not to be carpeted. I understand it cuts down on rattles, but you would probably want to get something to put down there because that's where your trash can goes. So I'm just saying. Um, like I said, I love this glowy light stuff. I love my lit lights. I think that that's super fun. This is a nice amount of counter space. So just to give you an idea as to how much counter space you have in this coach. So for those of you that have um, parties often, have friends over, or if you just like to cook for the two of you, oh shoot, really? Okay, I got it, don't worry, Jody. Jody's like, I could tell, he was thinking about jumping in to save me. I'm gonna do it back here, how's that? That way I don't have to worry about it falling off the edge. Uh, but yeah, so this is a really, really ample amount of, uh, of uh, counter space. This is over seven feet long. This is 88 inches of counter space. And then the overall depth here, we'll do the short one first, is 27 so just like you would have in a residential uh, type of counter depth and then here we're all the way at 53 inches and then this little guy here is 17 inches across so chips and dip guacamole maybe just a, some extra room to put like the lettuce and tomatoes if you're having burgers super nice setup um, again another nice feature uh, dual basin undermount sink um, what I like about this though is it's got plenty of room for you to move your faucet head and because you have um, this residential style you can come over here so if you're washing a large pot you can still do that because your faucet head is going to be flexible in where it's located um I'll put those covers back on so this is a nice nice setup uh, you've got your insignia tv up here as well and then all the extra storage so super, super cool layout in this coach. Um, lots and lots of room. Um, nice soft touch ceiling as well. I know that that's important to a lot of people. Great place for your telematics. We still have our sound bar as well. And then for those of us that are having um, great little storage area, I mean, I don't know, you can keep all sorts of stuff in there. Definitely an umbrella, like you could have a real umbrella instead of one of those little short jobbers. Uh, probably like a short broom, an extendable handle, dustpan, and then uh, up here some more storage. Also, you've got controls here for your awning. Um, but like I was going to say, if, if you have kids and you want to go camping and you're not going to always have them with you, one of the nice features of this coach is not only do you have the convertible bed, but uh, this also has the optional cab over bunk sleeping area. So this is not a standard feature on this coach. This coach is really, really well equipped. Like I said, these folks had a really nice uh, 45 foot uh, class A uh, for since 2009. So really good RVers knew exactly what they were doing. Just not the right fit for that client. Um, all that being said, they know how to buy a coach and this is how you do it. Uh, so here we've got some of our uh, equalizer leveling systems our aqua hot control our slide room control. Um, you can also see our Victron energy control right here. Uh, Everything you can see, you've got, you've got auto generator start, magnum, uh, inverter. This has got a 3,000 watt inverter. You've got solar on the top of this coach. 
This coach also has a dual lithium ion battery pack as well as two AGM house batteries, more storage right here as well. And then um, these recliners have a heat massage and they're of course full recliners. So really, really nice uh, setup here. I'm not gonna show you how to use them because my client's dogs would always stand on them. Um, and they had two really adorable, and if you want pictures, I'll send you the pictures, Habanese. Uh, so this coach did have puppies in it. So if you're highly allergic to dogs, I am too. I have no reaction in this coach, just so you know. But the puppies would stand on the controllers and turn the heated seats on and the vibrators on all the time when they were on the road. So they unplugged the chairs. Uh, this coach just came in last week. It hasn't been through its PDI yet. Uh, the good news is it's in really fantastic condition. Um, and then another nice thing about it is it's available for sale and it's a great price point. So uh, for those of you who are looking for a coach, this is a 40, uh, it's 40 foot and three quarters inches. So I guess you could call it a 41 foot Super C, 20,000 pound towing capacity, 10,000 50 foot pounds of torque, bunk over cab, windows above on both sides for cross ventilation. You know, nice little curtain area here. So whomever it is that is sleeping up here is gonna be comfortable. Uh, I should measure the, the depth of this just because I feel like I've never, um, I've never actually answered the question as to how deep this sleeping car compartment is. So I would like to know that for myself. So we're looking, you know, it's actually pretty similar to everything else. This is about 50 inches deep. And then because I already know the width of the coach across the middle, I'm gonna assume that it's the same, but let's go ahead and just measure this bunk over cab for you. Um, so this goes out to 83 inches and then there's this uh, headboard here. Um, so I would imagine you can put a pillow on top of that if you wanted it to be the full width across. So 83 inches to that component. And then you have an additional uh, 13, 14 inches, 13 inches. So 83 plus 13 inches if you've got a taller child that needs to sleep overhead. Um, okay, so let's go over to the front. This is kind of an interesting thing. Oh, I was gonna take this out. So I can leave this in. If, if you buy this coach and you wanna have this, this is an aftermarket uh, tire pressure monitoring system. I actually was asked to take it out and I forgot to. So sorry, Brian. He'll be watching my video and be like, I told you to take that out, Katie. Uh, Kenwood uh, stereo system by Garmin. Nice four camera system here. Um, you also have Mobileye. This is factory. This is factory. This is factory. This is not. So apologize for leaving that in there. Um, all the same things that you would normally expect. You've got your engine brake, which I know is important to a lot of people. You also have, uh, you know, your power outlets up front, your hot and cold temperature setting, um, you know, really standard air conditioning system, uh, power locks, power windows, very much the M2106 chassis you would expect. Uh, up and down height adjustment if you want to be able to get your um, your tow vehicle on better. Again, 3,663 miles. So super low miles. Um, of course, we also have our cruise control. Um, this is your mobile eye. Uh, you can see the lane tracking little guides are right there. And then your microphone for your, your, for your phone. Um, and then, oh. She's got a really good deep horn, I think. Um, so this little guy up here is uh, got all your master lights. You can actually start your generator here as well. You got your reading lights. And yes, folks, they are still missing the memo. Women need a mirror here for their lip gloss. But you know, what are you gonna do? No one's perfect. Uh, nice deep recess holes, very much like you'd find in the Verona. A great place to put that Cobra if you wanted to do that too. Uh, these are air ride seats. They do swivel and turn. You do have lumbar, pneumatic lumbar support, so you've got that there. So just air up, drop down. Um, overall, super cool coach. I love this feature. Um, this is not on anything else that I've sold in the past. Uh, so you pop this little bad boy in and you can pop these windows. Do you remember this? We had a Volkswagen Beetle. We had a 1967 named Isabella and she had these windows and I just love these little pop out windows. Cause you know, I don't know, it's just nice. You get a nice breeze coming through the cabin. You don't have to have the window down, uh, just kicking it, you know? 
Um, so there is a little bit of a step here. This is less substantial than that of the Renegade. And then I also just wanted to make point, I love this carpet. This is a really beautiful carpet. Um, when you look in uh, higher end homes, they have carpet like this in a lot of their stairs because it does tend to show less uh, less matting whenever you're, you're walking on it. So it'll tend to look better a little bit longer. And I also really like this flooring. I think they've done a great job with the flooring. Um, so Jody, if you want to go ahead and head on out, I'll follow you. Did I show this cabinet? I did. Okay. I think I got them all, you guys. Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. Don't go anywhere, Jody. More. More stuff. So more cabinet space. Sorry. This is an unusual product for me. Um, I've spent quite a bit in of time in here, and because I took it in on trade, I had a chance to really talk with the clients and learn more about it. But yes, it is not um, the standard fare that I usually demonstrate. Um, all that being said, Super Seas. I just got a Superstar in this morning. I've got a bath and a half model available for sale here now. I also have a bunk model. Um, I've got a few Renegades that are available. So if you're looking uh, for information on pricing and inventory, you know, my contact information is down below. That's my cell phone number. You can text me. Um, I'm really easy to work with. At least I like to think so. Um, nice little screen door here. Um, as I said, the two little Habanese that lived here, um, there's no fur in this coach. They are not furry dogs. Um, but it was a great way to keep them in the coach while their parents were enjoying uh, the camping festivities. As I mentioned, you do have a dual fill uh, saddle tank here. So 100 gallons uh, fuel capacity. And then we'll just go up here and take a look at this engine. Um, so again, these Super C's are great because it's very easy to access them. And one of the nice things is, so this is a DD13 in our Cummins. We'll see that's a red component, of course, because that's how you separate, or that's how Cummins identifies where the engine is. This is a DD8, but this Freightliner chassis is great. You know, we're a Freightliner certified dealership here. We are Elite certified. We're Detroit certified, so we can work on this engine here. We can work on this chassis here for you. Um, but it's a really easy, accessible engine. So as you can see, very similar to what you'll see out there in the marketplace. And of course, what that means is if it's similar to me, somebody who gets to look at these from the perspective of selling them, it's going to be very easy for a mechanic to be familiar with the same thing. Um, I think Dynamax does a really good job on, uh, you know, like the Caliber 9 grill here with Dynamax in the front. Very, very nice trim the whole way through. You don't see, it doesn't just, just, it doesn't just stop here. It continues on through the lights. Uh, so a really nice look. Uh, this is a great paint scheme. Um, and then here, of course, we have our side cameras. We've got our uh, chrome convex mirrors. Uh, those are also really nice. Again, this is one of the features that I like about Renegade. Um, I love that they have these like steps that are uh, so robust and you're going to hold it be so grippy when you're getting in and out of the coach. That's great. Um, and then something that I, so I notice all these little things, you know, it's kind of like a house. Different builders do things differently. Uh, Dynamax has a really nice handle here. They also have a keypad. Uh, this is something that we would not find until we got into the LE or a superstar level on other coaches. So at this price point to have a keyless entry, is really, really handy. Uh, you've got your outdoor TV as well. Again, we're gonna rock insignia throughout this coach. That is the feature that we would, or the TV brand that we would be using on the Valencia. And then all of these bays are this nice plastic uh, cover. So this is, this is just a nice plastic molded bay, really easy to clean out. I've got an outlet here in this bay. Uh, so they do a really good job at outlet placement throughout this coach. Um, and then another really nice bay and you can see there's a nice pass through over the top of this as well. So if you've got something longer, like a fishing pole that you need to put up there, you can do that. There's also a light in this bay, which is nice. Uh, here's that water tank. Again, you've got a 100 gallon, uh, tank capacity on this coach. Uh, so a little different than that of the Renegade and Superstar products where they have 150, but lots of fresh water. Um, you know, that's going to be the same capacity that they had on their, you know, like brand new, you know, million dollar Essex. So they think they had 105. So really good capacities there. 
Again, another lighted bay, another pass-through compartment, all that, again, that molded plastic, which is super nice, very, very rugged, easy to clean up. And then there's that big aqua hot unit. This is the 450D. And even though this is a pre-owned coach, if you call me and you buy this coach, just remind me that you watch this video and I will give you a gallon of this aqua hot juice. That's really important to understand. You are not going to have hot water or uh, hydronic heat if you don't have enough aqua hot juice. And it's really hard to get a hold of that juice when you're in the middle of the forest. Um, so if I hadn't mentioned, this is a triple slide. Jody, me might run back inside at the end and just show it with the slides in because it's pretty impressive. Uh, but here again, you've got your hitch adapter, another pass through, another large bay here as well. And I think we glossed over tires, which shame on us, uh, because this has got really nice Michelins on this. These are 22 and a half. Uh, this is a 275-80 R22. Um, and then of course, just nice aluminum rims, good looking coach overall. And then as you can see, a really large awning. So your awning is gonna be from this window all the way through to the front. And that's a Gerard awning. Uh, we also have the mud flap back here. And oh, look at that, 375 horsepower, 10,050 foot-pounds of torque. LED lights, airlines are already pre-wired. You've got your seven pin connector here. You also again have a 20,000 pound towing capacity. This fiberglass end cap is really, really nice. Um, and I also like, I think these are really fashionable. I like the stylish LED light. Um, when you look at them closely, it's so different than back in those days where you would see bulbs. You can see all the little, the little diodes in there that glow. Uh, but of course, LED lights give you better stopping time when there's someone behind you. Uh, they illuminate just that much faster. More storage back here. And then our water bay is different. Um, so I had to come out and take a look at it today. So you got a power, we got a power water reel. Um, and it's interesting. I feel like what it is, is it just doesn't have that plate that we see on the Renegades or the Superstars uh, to make it look all clean and flush. But at the end of the day, it has a SantaCon system. So this has got a macerator on it, standard, uh, which is a nice feature to have, especially at this price point. And then you still have your exterior, um, shower so you and you have um all of your you know all of your valves are really like clearly labeled you've got a whole house water filter um you know it, it's really it's actually a pretty cool bay it's just different than anything i've seen it's kind of they actually have a little extra room for the way they have it set up you can keep that santa con hose in there and then here's your uh, power cord and that is on a power reel and then a nice little cover. I left that open just so you can see how it feeds down and through. It's also nice that it's here in the back towards the rear of the coach. And we'll pass by these nice Alco Alcoa rims again. Uh, here is your eight kilowatt or 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. That's what that QD stands for. And this coach has a whopping seven hours on the generator. Again, if you are looking for a really nice price point, in a Super C with 20,000 pound towing capacity that was only camped in once. Uh, this is the coach. And there is nothing wrong with this RV except for the fact that it doesn't have 1,850 foot pounds of torque in a 605 engine. <laughs> that's exactly right. That, that was, that's, what, that's what the upgrade was to this. So you, you know, go from a Dynamax back into a million bucks and that's, that's the only reason this coach was traded in. Uh, there's your lithium ion batteries. There's two of those there. Also two chassis batteries. Uh, just so you know, your whole house turns on right here on the left. There's a little red dial. Uh, so in the Renegades and the Superstars, that house turns on inside of the coach. On this coach, that's your house power right there. And then your chassis power is still gonna be underneath the seat like it is in all the M2106 chassis. Um, and then here's your magnum inverter. You also have a surge protector. Really nice, wheat, neat wiring harness up front. As you can see, Dynamax has done a really good job with this coach. Um, this is a lot of RV. Uh, so here's your def tank, another side camera, and then entry here into your cockpit. Of course, uh, here's a little bit better uh, snapshot of those uh, lumbar uh, controls. And then down below that, you'll see that's where your chassis disconnect is, right below the seat, right here. I don't know if you can catch that. 
And then this coach does also have a brake controller included. And as I mentioned, it does not come with tire pressure monitoring system, but we do have an aftermarket system. If you'd like me to include that, I would be happy to leave that in the coach for you. Uh, this is just your engine block heater. And we've already seen this side. Jody, if you wanna go through, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the slides in and I'll meet you around the other side. Folks, we're gonna end on, oh, here, show this stock number really quick. That's a little reserved for a sign. Just saying I'm gonna do my video today. Uh, but that's our stock number. And let me go ahead and bring these slides in real quick. And when Jody comes in, the magic will have happened. Um, so I normally end on the outside of these videos, but sometimes I forget to put the slides in. I probably won't do another DX3 video on a coach this nice again anytime soon. So I think it makes sense to go ahead and just show you this walking room. Uh, this was actually an important feature for the customer who purchased this coach initially. As you can see, there's a lot of space here. Um, so um, I'm not gonna bother bringing in these other two slides. This is a triple slide, but the most important thing, well, maybe I have to bring one in, right? Let's just bring in one because I wanna show you the room in this bathroom. Let's see, the wardrobe. So they call this the wardrobe. Of course, that makes sense, uh, being that you have a huge amount of space uh, here for hanging clothes. Um, but I think a lot of people always wanna know what the access is like to the bathroom. And what I found earlier is that this door will hit this, but you can still get in here so easily. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a really big residential sized door and you can open it. You wouldn't want to let it bang because it'll hit right about there. Um, but super easy to get in and out of. This is your walking space. So really impressive overall walking space. Uh, really impressive coach overall. Again, uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I love selling RVs. I love Super C's. I love Class A's. I love answering questions. However, I can best assist you please find my contact information down below. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. Put a comment down below. If there's something I missed, let me know. Uh, but like I said, I love to be of assistance. Feel free to reach out to me by phone. You can send me an email, you can text me. I'm always happy to help. Coming to you live from TransWest and Frederick, Colorado. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill and thank you so much for tuning in today. And let us know how we can get you on the road and get you camping.